Tetrahymena thermophila is a free-living single-cell eukaryote found in ponds and lakes. It generates the energy for survival, much like most eukaryotes, through cellular respiration in its mitochondria by oxidative phosphorylation. Inside the mitochondria, nutrients and oxygen are converted into a chemical form of energy, the ATP. This is achieved with a proton gradient built up by the electron transport chain, driven by a series of four respiratory complexes in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Let's have a closer look. Electrons extracted from nutrients and foodstuff through glycolysis and the Krebs cycle are transported by NADH to complex 1. These electrons are transferred to coenzyme Q through a series of redox reactions which drives the pumping of protons across the membrane. Succinate, another product that is an intermediate of the Krebs cycle, transfers electrons to complex 2, which in turn transfers them also to coenzyme Q. Reduced coenzyme Q delivers electrons to complex 3. These electrons get passed from complex 3 onto cytochrome C, which results in the transfer of additional protons to the other side of the membrane. And finally to complex 4 and oxygen, producing water in the process and pumping additional protons. The build-up proton gradient is then used by the ATP synthase to produce ATP. In Tetrahymena thermophila, all four respiratory complexes are associated together and form a 5.8 megadalton supercomplex of 150 proteins with at least 300 transmembrane helices and 311 lipids. In the supercomplex, complex 1 binds a dimer of complex 3 that is tilted by 37 degrees. The interface involves 20 subunits, including the Riesga iron sulfur protein. Complex 4 dimer is associated with the membrane region of complex 1, opposite complex 3 dimer. Some of the interface is contributed by two split subunits of COX-3, which is fragmented on the genetic level. The two halves were extended and gained the function for intercomplex contacts. The binding of complex 4 to complex 1 and complex 3 imposes curvature onto the membrane and leaves a gap that is then filled by complex 2. The curvature introduced by the supercomplex helps to shape the cristae of mitochondria into 14 nanometer diameter tubular structures. Together with helical polymers of ATP synthase, the supercomplex shapes the macroscopic architecture of mitochondria. This contributes to higher local concentration of electron carriers, ultimately optimizing ATP synthesis. This study shows that the respiratory supercomplex has not only an enzymatic but also a structural function of shaping the membrane. Both together support energy conversion and provide fuel for life.